Hola, bonjour, guten tag, hello. Those are pretty much all the languages I know. How to say hello in. So today, this is part two of this guy. We are going to be coloring him today. My face. Um. So you can pretty much use whatever you want. I tend to like markers and colored pencils, which is pretty much like all my supplies. So I'll just show you quickly. I have just Crayola markers here. Yeah, 50 Crayola markers. I have 12 Prismacolor markers. They are chisel and fine point, as you can see right up here. Kinda. There you go. Uh, I have Prismacolor colored pencils, 24. You have my multicultural markers. And I'm not really sure what race he's going to be yet. But I, and then I have 50 colored pencils. Crayola. I really like the Crayola colored pencils. I just love colored pencils. So, yeah. And then, of course, we're going to need an eraser to erase our pencil marks. And any kind of Sharpies you want. I have here some thick ones some thin ones, anything that you want would work. And then of course you need your drawing right here. Here you go. And it does not have to be this guy, it could be anybody and any kind of drawing. Yeah, his head's kind of boxy over here. I'm not really sure why. Anyways, let's get to it. So I do tend to like the thick Sharpie rather than the thin. So right now what you're going to do is you want to go over any lines that are not feature lines from when you actually drew it. Um, so I'm going to skip over this part because it's pretty simple and I'll catch up with you when I'm done. Alright, now you can probably pause the video here and do it, uh, but I have done the sharpening. This look kind of cool actually, but now I'm going to do the same process, but erase all the pencil lines to make it look a little sharper. Probably going to be kind of hard to see on the video, but it'll help your whole drawing in the end. Alrighty. I have, whoa, did you see that? That just moved. My camera just moved. One second. I have completed the erasing. One noticeable spot would be about here. You can kind of still see some pencil mark, but that really doesn't matter. The reason we erased before is because colored pencils will erase. And I am using my colored pencils for this drawing I've just decided. And of course, I'm going to need some skin color, so I'll probably mix this with this. Because there are a few skin colors in this too. So let's get into the coloring. So first you want to choose a color for the person's eyes. For this one, I'm going to use uh, this color. It is brownish, yeah, brownish. But before you always draw, you always want to get a piece of scrap. So I just use the back of the paper to see if I really like the color. So this is a possibility we can say. I also might want him to have green eyes. Hmm. I like the green. We're gonna do the green. That's why you always test to see like what color works or looks better. So for this particular person, I'm just gonna color in right here. That's gonna be like where his eye color is. So let's do that and I'll talk. So today was a snow day and it is Wednesday. And it's a snow day for my school. And yes, um, it's pretty exciting. So I decided to make a YouTube video because I really enjoy making them for you guys. And they're really fun and you know, I do it on my free time. So now we have his eye color. You could either use Sharpie 
or a marker for this part. And I think I'm going to use Sharpie. So you want to get the same Sharpie you used, actually like just the same color. And you want to fill in this part. All that. And you want to leave a little circle open because that's like his highlight in his eyes. So let's start. And you always want to make sure you're not like going over the same spot too many times whenever you're using Sharpie because um, you don't want it to bleed through because it will like ruin your whole notebook. I mean, yeah, you could just like rip the paper out, I guess, but I like to have it organized in a notebook. I'm just that kind of person. So I'm just keep ahead until I am done. <laughs> till I'm done with this. So see you around. So I have already tested. Sorry about that. Which one I want for the color of his hair? Of course, hair's next. So see his eyes looks kind of nice actually. It looks pretty nice. So now you want to do the hair, but you always want to make sure you're going in the natural direction of where the actual hair is. So you want to go from here down, 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 and then from where the hair would actually flow from. Because this would be where it's like callus is. So just make sure you're doing that. Now we're going to color the hair, and I'll catch up with you when I'm done. All right, so I've done the hair. There he is. All right, now we're gonna do the skin. So you just wanna like pick a skin color, I guess you wanna say. You wanna just pick a skin color for him. Now, if you don't have any skin colors, you could use a, if you wanna make him white, you can use a um, brown colored pencil and draw really light. Or you know, you probably wouldn't know how to do it, but you know what I mean. So, uh, let me just gather the supplies. So, I'm just going to use what I have and go with my markers. My multicultural markers, also known as skin color markers. And this one, if you have this kit, is... Can you see it? Yeah, that's the tan one. So, sorry about that. That was my phone. But, um, let's get started. I will catch up with you when I'm done. Okay, so I'm done, and I kind of rushed with the marker just to see, just so I could get this video out quicker for you guys. So here it is. I know the marker is a little uneven, but I'm hoping that it will even out. And yes, I do know that I forgot down here. It's okay. Yep, here it is. So, I think I'm going to name him Alfred. I don't know why. It just came to my head when I was coloring. I think I'm going to name him Alfred. Yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the coloring of our new friend, Alfred. Alfred! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, thanks so much for watching. Question of the day. Hmm. Do you have any pets? Bye.